know, this pile of crap died not long ago. I have brought it back from the dead once more. Thanks to the heat gun. So, uh, no thanks to a dog who's currently walking over everything. Out. Bugger off. Go away. Thank you. And, of course, no thanks to what everyone refers to as torque screws and what I like have named and continue to name as bastard screws. How's the heat doing on the GPU? I've also upgraded the GPU's heatsink because that flat pancake thing is just not adequate. So, we have done a little modification to the cooling system. In fact, it's quite a big modification. But hey, quite literally, my Xbox is a bunch of circuit boards and now I have a load of Star Plus casing that I no longer need or want. Hmm, a dump run is in order. But the GPU is nice and cool, and so is the CPU. Let's put in some games to test it. And look, we're not connected to the internet. Big fucking whoop. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. It lives. It sounds like a blimp, or as some people call it, an airship. But it lives. That makes me happy. Good. Now, well, university work isn't going to get done at home, is it? No. Well, I think it improved the resolution slightly, but don't know by how much. But yeah, we've got a dead Xbox. A little bit of the heat gun works. Get a scrapped Xbox and use the heat sink off that. The CPU heat sink because that little GPU pile of crap is not adequate and you're all sorted for example, I can touch it and it's running Dead Space 3 and I still have fingertips just don't be surprised when you have to frankenbox it thanks for watching oh sir corpsey, care to dance I follow orders. I follow orders. I kill on command. I kill on command. You what? All must die. No one will be spared. No one will be spared. Dead Space 3 is going full out on us. I like the mix of retro futuristic, but they've started to cut and paste levels. No, don't do that. All pretense of horror went out the window when I got ambushed by zombies with machine guns. There's no recovering any for thing that from that. It's a shame because the first two actually have some genuinely creepy bits, especially the first one now I think back to it. It had some really good moments in it. Still, we must press on. It's kind of funny being attacked by zombies from machine. Well, actually, it's more like, really? No, don't do that. It doesn't work. It's kind of. You might as well just put me against the unitologists. The franking box is back together. I'm going to be monitoring the temperature of the heatsink because I may need to relocate the fans. At the moment, it's warm. About the same temperature as the CPU, because there isn't really any direct flow. We're going to see how the fans do there. We may need to relocate. This drive is happy like that. We've got some heat flowing coming out here. As long as that GPU doesn't get burning hot and it stays warm to the touch, we'll be all good. And I'm going to leave it playing dead space. Because that's a good way to do it. It's a game that uses the intensity and whatnot and it's fun. And there's some of the crap left over. Might sell that on eBay. And then there's some of this 
catch it, which is completely useless. Fire? I don't know. And the inadequate GPU heatsink. To any future designers, use proper heat sinks on this equipment. That needs a lot of cooling. Use adequate cooling. I don't want to see any more consoles go down with these problems, but we probably will. Thanks to some pile of useless, useless bone and cartilage in the management department. Ah, such is life. Thanks for watching the Frankenbox Revival. Back from the dead. Ace Rimmers in dead space. I know this space is easy, but they do seem to redeem themselves of this. Where you can't die once in the game on one mode. Hardcore. And a few other challenges, which do up the difficulty. Might have to have a go at them at some point. I think the game warrants another playthrough, to be honest. Thanks for watching.